डियर लिस्नर वेलकम टू माय चैनल टॉपिक ऑफ दिस वीडियो इज कोफिशियंट ऑफ को रिलेशन आर एंड कोफिशियंट ऑफ डिटर्मिनेशन आर स्क्वेयर कंपेरिजन एंड एनालिसिस लेट एस स्टार्ट आर स्क्वेयर और कोफिशियंट ऑफ डिटर्मिनेशन इज स्टैटिस्टिकल मेजर दैट मेजर्स द एक्सटेंट टू विच डिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल वैरीज एज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ एन इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल इट इवेल्युएट्स हाउ गुड द लीनियर रिग्रेशन मॉडल इज फिटिंग ऑन द डेटा that is r square indicates how well the data fits to the regression model that is nothing but goodness of fit r square values are expressed as percentage ranging from 1 to 100% the greater the value of r square the more dependent the performance of the dependent variable is on the independent variable or vice versa higher values of r square model is better and most of the data close to the line of regression but if r square is very close to 1 then there is a possibility of model overfitting which should be avoided so this is all about r square now see what is mean by coefficient of correlation the correlation coefficient is a statistical descriptive measure of the strength of linear relationship between the two variables here the word linear relationship is very important because coefficient of correlation focus on the linear relationship between the two variables it has a value range from minus 1 to 1 a correlation coefficient of minus 1 denotes a perfect negative correlation in which values in one series rise while those in other fall and vice versa that is one increase second decrease and vice versa a coefficient of 1 indicates that there is a perfect positive correlation or direct relationship means both the series increase or both the series decrease a correlation coefficient of 0 indicates no linear relationship exists between the two series now correlation can be represented by scatter plot and this line red line is nothing but the line of regression here we can see that when the data is highly correlated almost we can see that the slope of one so here the data is positively correlated and here data is negatively correlated and there is no relationship between the data now this is the drawback of correlation coefficient that it is incapable of assessing the non linear relationship between the variables and it is not able to distinguish between dependent and independent variables now we will see relationship between r and r square now regression equation for one 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 independent variable or a simple linear regression y is equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 x r is equal to sin of beta 1 square root of r square now here sin of beta 1 beta 1 here is nothing but the slope so slope can be positive and slope can be negative so here we can get the r values from minus 1 to 1 range now in my previous video i have already explained this r square and the formula of r square in detail now here two types of notations are used in literature that is rss ess or tss or ssc ssr and sst these are the formulas basically tss is nothing but the average value and the actual value rss is nothing but the actual value and predicted value and ess is nothing but the predicted value and the average value and tss is equal to rss plus ess and uh, formula of r square is ess by tss that is that explained by the regression divided by total difference between the actual value and the average value r square is equal to ess by tss and tss is equal to rss plus ess now when we arrange this equation we can get the other type of formula that is r square is equal to 1 minus rss by tss now these are nothing but the interpretation of r square result r square result vary from 0 to 1 or 0 uh, 1 0 to 100% so based on that the interpretation of the results of r square now here in this problem we require to find out first r square then we will find out the coefficient of relation r by using r square and we can also find out the coefficient of relation by using the pearson formula now this data is given so this problem is already solved in my previous video of r square now this line of equation is given and here the beta value is 2.6 and the slope is positive plus sign is there now when we calculate the r square we require to do all this calculation and here r square is ess by tss so we are getting the r square of 0.845 now to find out the coefficient of relation is sin of beta 1 square root of r square 
now r square is 0.845 and this sign is positive so square root of 0.854 is 0.92 if we found find the correlation of coefficient by using pearson formula we are also getting the same result now we are applying the correlation formula this is nothing but the uh, x minus x bar into y minus y bar and square root of x minus x bar square into summation of y minus y bar square so this is nothing but the correlation formula this is similar to your covariance matrix now this input data is given five records are there here we can calculate the x bar or y bar that is average of the x and average of y values now here this formula we require x minus x bar y minus y bar this is x minus x bar y minus y bar we require their multiplication so in the third column multiplication and their summation and these are nothing but the denominator terms when we put all that value we are getting the 0.92 and by using that capital coefficient of determination we are also getting the result 0.92 now here when we see the result of r square now the result of r square is between 0 to 1 as 0.84 is very good value so substantial percentage of the variation is explained by the independent variable towards the dependent variable and here also when r is 0 0.2 the data is highly positively correlated now we will see the second example here the equation of line is given that is y is equal to 7.6 plus 0.9x again here slope is positive here five records are there we calculate the r square and here we are getting the r square as 0.55 so r square is 0.55 means good amount of variation is not is explained means not it is a uh, that is a uh, whatever that values they are not close to one so here the good amount of variation is explained by the independent variable towards the dependent variable now here from r square also we can calculate the r now here we calculate the r so for that we require x i minus x bar y i minus y bar their multiplication and their corresponding square values and where if we calculate the r we are getting 0.74 and if we try to use this formula that is sine of beta 1 that is positive and square root of 0.55 we will get the value of 0.74 so in, by any way, way we can calculate the coefficient of correlation and coefficient of determination when suitable data is given so here also as it is 0 0.74 so given data is positively correlated comparison between correlation coefficient and coefficient of determination the coefficient of determination and the sample correlation coefficient both provide the estimate of the strength of linear relationship between the two variables the coefficient of determination measures between 0 to 1 while the correlation coefficient measures between minus 1 to plus 1 although correlation coefficient is limited to two variable linear relationship this is very important difference but, but the coefficient of determination can be utilized for non-linear correlations that is non-linear relationship as well as relationship in which two or more independent variables are involved as a result coefficient of determination has broader range of applicability because when we have to check the relationship between that is linear relationship between the variables in correlation coefficient r formula we can check with only two variables but coefficient of determination is not restricted to the number of variables we can try with more number of variables so that's all about the coef correlation coefficient and coefficient of determination r square so in the next video i am going to explain the adjusted r square and what is the difference between the r square and adjusted r square thank you